Today we are talking about circles. So we have two different types of formulas we are looking at. One for circumference of a circle and one for the area of a circle. Now technically circumference has two different formulas simply because diameter and radius are related to each other but could be written separately in formulas. So first let's review what a circle is. You know, here's a circle. We know what a circle is. But what circumference is is that distance around the outside of our circle like a perimeter. The diameter is a line straight across our circle through the center and the radius is halfway across the circle from the center to the circumference of the circle. Now radius, since it's only halfway, is half of the length of a diameter, which is why we have two formulas here. Circumference can either be pi times the diameter or circumference can be 2 pi times the radius because 2 times the radius is the same as the diameter. So these formulas are essentially the same, but it kind of depends on whether you're using the diameter or the radius. This is more commonly the one that you will see is with the radius, 2 pi r. Pi is a number that comes from taking the circumference of a circle and dividing it by the radius. Sometimes I do an activity with that where we actually prove that that's true with a bunch of different sized circles. Um, this year we're not doing as many of those fun activities, sadly. But maybe if we had a spare day, I could plan for that so we could do something a little bit fun, at least in class, for those of you that are here. Okay, let's go through these examples. If the diameter of a circle is 37 inches, how long is the radius? So this particular question isn't even asking us for circumference. It's simply asking us to find the radius from the diameter. So remember, the diameter is twice as long as the radius. So to find the radius from the diameter, all we have to do is divide by 2. So 37 divided by 2, grabbing a calculator if you need to, what do you get? 18.5, and since 37 is in inches, the radius would be in inches, 18.5 inches. Okay, so we don't actually need to do anything with that. According to this question, we were just finding the radius from the diameter. If we needed to go the other direction, we would multiply by 2 instead of divide by 2, like if they gave us the radius and we wanted to find the diameter. Okay, let's see how we can use this. A circular hot tub has a diameter of 10 feet. What is the circumference of the hot tub? Hint, find the radius first. Do I have to find the radius first? No, because I could use the formula C equals pi times the diameter. I don't have to find the radius first. That would just be pi times 10. And if I want an approximate answer, so there's two ways to leave my answer. I could leave my answer in terms of pi which is just where you leave pi on the side and it just means it would multiply in, but that gives us an exact answer. If we want to multiply it in, that's going to be an approximate answer, but that's fine if we're talking about something like a hot tub, you know, it's a real life problem. We would want to apply it with a measurement that makes more sense than 10 pi. So to find that answer, we're going to go 10 times pi, which you can just push the pi button in your calculator or you could actually type in 3.1415926, as much as you want to of pi. 3.14, typically, what did I say earlier that we were going to use on this page? 3.1416. So if you wanted to just use that much, that's fine. So that would give us 31.4. I don't think we need more than one or two decimal places. If you want, you can. That would be in feet because circumference is just a measurement. So if we have the diameter in feet or the radius in feet, then our circumference will also be in feet. It's just a measurement around the circle. Now, notice how it did say find the radius first. Why would you do that? Well, that would be if you were using this formula instead, 2 pi r. Then you would find the radius first, which would be radius is 5 because it's half of 10. So then you would do 2 times 3.1416 times 5. And of course, the order you multiply things in doesn't matter. So we still have 2 times 5, which is 10. And we would still get an approximate answer of 31.4 feet. I really don't care if you just do the problem with the diameter and multiply pi, or if you find the radius and multiply by 2 and multiply by pi. 
That seems a little redundant to do it that way, because why would you divide by 2 and then also multiply by 2 in the same problem? But you can do it that way, and that's because typically most people will have you work with that second formula with the radius instead of the first formula with the diameter. Okay, now we get to work backwards. If the circumference of a circle is 30 feet, so that's circumference, what is the radius? What is the diameter? I'm actually going to find the diameter first. So the circumference would be pi times the diameter, right? So let's start by plugging in the number for the circumference, which is 30. And then let's plug in the number for pi, which is 3.1416. And then that times diameter would be a true mathematical statement. So in order to solve for the diameter, we would want to take the 30 and divide by the 3.1416, just like we would if it was the, like the volume and we were finding, or if it was area and we were finding height, and so we divide by length or something like that, right? We've done this stuff before where we work backwards, and so instead of multiplying, we divide. Okay, so taking my calculator, 30 divided by 3.1416, or you can just find the pi button in your calculator and use that. This says my answer is approximately 9.54, so I'm just going to call it 9.5 feet. So that is the diameter, because I used the formula that had diameter, not radius, right? So now to find the radius, I'm going to take the diameter, and I'm going to divide it by 2. So diameter divided by 2 would be 9.54 feet divided by 2. So divide that by 2, and we get... 4.77, so I'm going to call that 4.8 feet. So there's the radius, there's the diameter for the circumference of 30. We worked backwards by dividing by pi, and then we took the diameter and divided it in half to find the radius.